Hello everyone and welcome to this week's MySys Tips and Tricks video. This week's uh, video will focus on how to fine tune your production schedule if you are using routings in your bill of materials. That means you're using the shop floor control module. So as you know, under the production menu, we have a production schedule available to us and you can view the Gantt view as you can change the options here on the top right corner as orders, items, customers, or shop operations. In the case of view option of orders, this shows me a bar chart of all my manufacturing orders, which are listed on each of the rows and the corresponding manufacturing orders with the item that is to be built inside the box. You might be able to see any conflicts here because MISIS not being a finite capacity planning tool, it will look at your required schedule. If certain items need to be manufactured and ready for shipment by a certain date in certain quantities, MISIS will schedule the manufacturing orders, not really realizing that you might not have capacity to build or work on that many manufacturing orders within the same time period. So with a little tribal knowledge, you might be able to make changes to the schedule on your own. But if you're actually using routings in your bills of material, you can do better than that. And you can choose the shop operations option and select a time period, uh, a date from and date to. And you, what you wanna make sure is that this is not a very big date range so that you are not overwhelmed by the amount of data being presented. In this case, I'm gonna use one month because there aren't too many manufacturing orders in my test database here. But in case of standard operations, I usually recommend to look at one week at a time. And for the other filters, work center, manufacturing order, I'm going to run it open so I get all the data. Now, on the original production schedule, the coloration of the bars are really optional. You are able to go and change the default values of the colors if you want. And I think the default for current week is red, which to me doesn't really make much sense because when I see a red, I know it's some kind of a red flag. So something being this week, current week, is not red for me. I usually change it to blue or uh, some form of yellow or something. In this case, uh, when you are looking at the production schedule with shop operations, there is an actual Gantt key and you don't change this. And you'll notice red is a conflict. You have multiple ways of sorting uh, this here. I tend to choose order number, which then gives me by the manufacturing order number and each of the operations following each other. So I can see the sequence and follow it through. In this case, I see there are few reds and there are smaller ones under here. And really what is happening here is that MO 1027 picking operation is conflicting uh, with this here. I can dig into that operation and find out more about it. Here, it's a picking operation for MO1101. Its start date is September 4 at 8 a.m. And it's the same day end because it's just 45 minutes. This menu here, select work center to substitute, which I was able to access by clicking on the box on the bar that was on the shop floor uh, schedule, gives me the option to see what are the available machines, available work centers of same class and when they are free and how much time they have available. What I am trying to do is find a work center that can do the same job that has my required time or more available. So I can replace this work center that seems to have a conflict with another manufacturing order that requires the same work center. So in this case, I need something with 45 minutes available on or before September 4, so that my schedule will not get delayed. And in this case, I really want to use the same um, operation and a work center. So I will focus on picking and you will uh, notice that you can uh, find different work centers within the same work center class as well. But in this case, um, it starts with here when I start with picking and it goes all the way to August 25. Well, maybe I don't wanna start it that early. 
of then the next option is 91 and next option is 98. Well, my original MO was starting 94, so I don't want to go as late as 98. So probably 91 makes more sense for me. And it has 440 minutes available at 840 in the morning. So I will say use revised date, select that line, and what I expect my MO 1101 to move from 94 to 91 when I hit select. And sure enough, here is MO 1101 picking operation moved to 91 and no longer showing a conflict uh, with my picking operation of MO 1027. And I can go ahead and do the same for all conflicting operations, or I can choose also to move it uh, manually and hope that it doesn't create any other conflicts. And if it creates conflicts, it is not going to uh, get resolved. If I move these uh, further out in the timeline, I might actually be causing issues with late delivery uh, because uh, the MO will not be completed in the requested time period. And if I am happy with what I have done, I click save. And once it's done, we are good to go. And hopefully this will help you use MySys more effectively.